Memorial Day show, my first guy. I'm very excited about my guest tonight, Jeff. Very, oh, very excited indeed. This is amazing. Indeed. This is wonderful. Yes. Very talented young actress. Her movie, The Fault in Our Stars, is in theaters June, June the 6th. June, June the 6th. <laughs> the very exciting Shailene Woodley, everybody. Shailene Woodley. You look great. Wow, look at those shoes. They're pretty intense, right? Right. Is that some kind of fluorescent rattlesnake thing? I don't know. I mean, it, it looks like it. It's like a painted... I don't know. It's, like, it's very, very good. Ah. Well done. You look great. And I like the way you sit in a chair like that to get the <laughs> like job done. Like a proper done. lady, you That's know. Right. You know Black what I'm talking about. <laughs> where are you from originally? I'm from here. Where, where, where part? In California? From L right outside of L.A. I grew up Thurlock? Us. <laughs> How'd you know? No, you can't be. <laughs> Simi Valley. Simi Valley? Yeah. Do you ever hear a lot of little airplanes flying around? No. Cause that's Have you been there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Simi Valley practice area is where everyone learns to fly in California. Is that right? Like when you Do learn you... to fly a, little, fly a little airplane, you go to the Simi Valley practice area. No way. Yeah, yeah. And everybody flies around the little planes like, mm, it's great. So that's why, so that's why there's so many plane crashes around where I grew up. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> where though? No. Well, okay, so uh, have you ever flown a plane? Uh-uh, but I would like to. Yeah, I think you'd be good at it. I think you'd it'd be fun. Yeah, because you go like that. You've got a kind of determined look about you. I kind of want to learn how to fly a plane just in case I'm ever in a plane and something goes wrong. I could be like, yo, buddy, hit this button, hit that button. Like, we got this. You know, like, it's always good when I wouldn't a get in a plane of... unless the guy in the plane knew what buttons to press. But don't you feel like sometimes, like, you, you just want to, you know, like, it's like backseat driver kind of thing. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, oh, you know, I can help you out. No, I tell you, the only reason I learned to fly is because I was frightened of it. Uh -huh. And then I thought, well, uh, if I learn to fly, maybe I won't be frightened of it. And now I'm not frightened of it as long as I'm flying the plane. But if somebody else is... is Someone else is flying it, I'm like, hey, buddy, press that button, press that button. They're it's like, I got serious, it, I got it's it. It's a serious control problem. I have. I yeah. could, do you have a control issue? I mean, I maybe. Let's do some therapy. All right. All right. Uh, okay. You know, my parents are therapists, so... Your parents are therapists? They are. Do you know... Psy psychotherapist? Uh, my dad was a school principal, now he's a family therapist. Right. And my mom's a middle school counselor. Wow, that's weird because therapists usually, to my mind, always have the craziest kids. The craziest kids? Yeah, yeah. I know, well, I mean, we just met, so. Yeah, I but you got that crazy. kind of look in your eye. You got a kind of crazy, <laughs> and you got that kind of thing. Like, yeah, and then you got your rattlesnake shoes. I know crazy when I see it. You think I never met a crazy woman before? You, you are wrong, pinned, sister man. girl. <laughs> Look like how much fun you're ha you have. I have fun here. So amazing. Gotta have fun when you're doing your job. Gotta have fun. Yeah, man. do you have fun when you're doing your so job? So much fun. Especially, like, this movie you've just done is very sad. It's very sad. Very sad It's movie. also very hopeful. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's got like sad themes. It does have sad themes. Sad themes. There's sad themes in real life. Yeah, no. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that when you do a movie like that, though, whenever I've done anything like that's very serious, there's a lot of giggling when you're making it. I don't know why. Maybe it's to release tension. Yeah, maybe that, the, we yeah. did giggle a lot. Why do you do that with your nose? Do you do that a lot? No, I, don't, I do do that a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think it's... I think it's a kind of weird... Uh, I don't know. I should look it up. I, ask I, your I, parents. I bet you there's a weird... Uh, <laughs> They'll know. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a weird body language thing, though. It's like... It's like a, like a, like a, like a... It's like, look at me, I am the one you should be, pay attention to me. Look yeah. right here. At look the right nose. here. Don't look here or around here, right here. I don't know, it's good though. It's kind of, and you got your nails done, so it's like a little... I painted them maybe for like the first time ever the other day, and uh, they are already chipped. No, they look good. You have very elegant hands. Do you play the mm -hmm. piano? I don't, but I wish I did. Well, you can still have, learn. What you? You're very young. You I can am learn young. Play, yeah. I can totally learn, but there's yeah. so much patience involved with learning the how to learn how to play the piano. Are you not a patient person? I'm a very patient person, but I feel like it takes a lot of time to time and patience, you know. And I don't have. You don't have a lot of time. Much time, or I, I'm patient, but not. But not when I have limited time. I'm like, okay, I have two hours. What do I want to do? Right. I don't want to sit still for two hours. So know? what do you want to do if you got two hours? Like if I said, okay, you get two hours break right now. What are you going to do? I'm going to drive to the beach. You're going to go drive to the beach? Yeah. And then what? Sit down on the beach and do nothing for Not two hours? I jump in the ocean. You're going to go in the ocean? Yeah. Do you ever go diving? Uh, no, I never. I mean, I've snorkeled, but I've, I have never done the scuba Snorkeling thing. Snorkeling to scuba diving is like, you know, it's like a Pinto to a Lamborghini. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's like different thing. 
You know, it scares me, the like lung compression thing and the, I mean, I want to do, it's like you flying, you know, I feel like conquer the fear, but I just have not. I don't know if fears can be conquered. I think that's, uh, that's for people that don't that's understand the great, nature of fear. That's like, that's a great, great, I completely agree with you. I think you, there's no way to become fearless, right? But you no, got to face no. your fears. I think facing them, uh, only if it has some kind of therapeutic effect. I mean, yeah. like f sometimes just facing your fears just for the sake of doing it is just absurd. It's just making yourself uncomfortable. For example, uh, if you have a fear of of uh, shellfish yeah. and avoid them like a fear of like a lobster yeah if you're if, if you're frightened of lobsters just don't go near them okay you know but if you're frightened of something like flying which is something you're gonna have to do then you're gonna have to figure out a system to work. But you can avoid the lobster. You can avoid lobster but pretty easily. you can't easy. avoid the plane as easily. Doesn't I get it. Doesn't seem that way. I get it. What frightens you? What are you frightened of? Submarines, I think, would be Submarines terrifying. frighten you? I mean, can you imagine being stuck in a metal box that, uh, like, le <laughs> leagues How under How long do you seat? want? Ten years in a metal box? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can you imagine You know exactly it. what I'm talking about. I know exactly about. what you, you mean. You can empathize with yeah. my fear. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That is confined spaces? No, not confined spaces, but I think I like Earth. You know, being in space doesn't seem interesting to me, and being what? way under the water, even though that, I guess, technically is Earth. See, it's just a completely different world. I don't want to be down there. I, don't I think you have a search for equilibrium going on here. I think you feel <laughs> there's a certain amount of uncertainty, and I think that's why you point at your nose. You're like, All right. I'm right here. What uh, do I do? What do I do? Well, I think, I, I think you're doing fine. Okay. I don't think you need to do anything. I think that sometimes therapy is just a little bit of information. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to do anything. Does it have to do something? No. 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 I think it's good observation. Yeah, I think it's nice to know who you are. It's probably... Oh, it's great to know who yeah, you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. feel like you know who you are? Yeah, I think so. Now. I didn't for a long time, though. I was very lost. You know, drugs and alcohol and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You avoiding all that? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Be careful with it. You gotta be careful with it, though. I mean, people say they experiment with it. Go, no, you're not a scientist. No, uh, no, no, no. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, you just gotta be watching. Especially, you're very successful, very young. You know, I've I've seen that before. So you gotta be careful. You know, point at your nose. <laughs> right here. Be careful. Do you, do you think that that's that's a a, a handicap? Like youth and success, does it does it concern you, or do you feel confident about it? No, man. I mean, I feel like you. Uh, does it concern me being? Successful? Does it unnerve you, perhaps? Do you worry about fear, is success going away? Oh God, no, no. Because there's so many things in the world to do. God bless you, young lady. Right? Good for you. Yeah. There's so many things. Yeah. I want to learn how to make a great cup of espresso. Right. There's always that to look forward There's to. There's always that to look forward <laughs> to. Good. I like. We have to take a commercial break. All right. Yeah. But violence when I was a kid. Huh? Kids were, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. We're Shelley and Woodley. What's that? Yeah. Uh, they, they know who you are, and if they then if they don't, that's their problem. Nah. Yeah. I think so. Would you ever smoke a pipe? Uh, yeah, actually, I have only really ever smoked tobacco out of a pipe. Weird. I know that sounds you, weird. Do you solve crimes as well? No. It's this weird thing. So I study herbalism. Which Do you? Is, yeah, which is like the study of plants for whatever medicinal purposes. And part of that, I started studying indigenous cultures, Native American cultures, and right. Native Americans used to smoke tobacco as like a healing, you know, like for healing purposes. Um, it's probably not a good idea, really. No, pro I mean, you know, they're everything in moderation, and I feel like... Anyways, but I have some friends who, who grow tobacco, and so they smoke it out of a, out really? of a good old pipe, yeah. You are you. so cool. <laughs> it just looks cooler, too. It, well, I think it looks like, it, you know, it, it looks like I'm smarter. It's like wearing kind of horn-rimmed glasses. Mm. You know, you're like, oh, that guy's smart. He ain't smart, he's just wearing glasses. Well, you're pretty yeah. smart. I'd say you're I'm smart. pretty smart. Yeah, you're yeah. smart. Not that smart, no. And I'm nowhere near as cool as you. You're very cool. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're cool. I can yeah. tell. So you do this, and you do this. Man, you're like really good at this body language. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. I observe. You are, you're a yeah, professional yeah. observer. What's this Sherlock Holmes thing? You observe, you know, you see Holmes, you see Watson, but you do not observe, you know, you've got to observe, see what's going on. 
It's true. You do have to see what's Yeah, you have to see what's going on. You're damn right, girl. People will be taking your stuff if you don't. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm we're out of time. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. How do you want to wrap this up? Want to do an awkward pause or uh, a bit of meditation, maybe? Do you know how to meditate? Yeah. Yeah, we can meditate. You just, uh, you just uh, think, right? That's what I do, because how do you meditate and not think? Well, you're actually not meant to, though. That's the thing. I, I know, but I don't know how. I, uh, I think. I think, I think the first stage in meditation, my guess is, is that you have to not give yourself a hard time about what your brain's doing. Exactly. You just got to let it flow, let man. Let it happen. Observe. Let it Observe let it Observe what your brain is doing. Totally. And then play a bit of Enya. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're really cool. I like you. There's not that many people I like when I do this job, but you're cool. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it's all right. Man, you're pretty cool, too. Thanks. And you got great socks. Thank you. They're tights. You got amazing tights. Yeah, it gets Long cold. And, tights. No, they're tights. It's uh, amazing. Yeah, I wear them for skiing. <laughs> and for talk shows. Yeah, well, you never know. It goes downhill pretty fast around here. <laughs> How's that thinking going? Yeah, just let it go. Let it all drift away. It's totally surrender, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jillian Woodley, everybody. <laughs> Thank My first guest tonight is an extremely talented and beautiful young woman. Well, she's all right. I don't want to go over the top. Yeah, you don't want to. She's don't fine. Yeah, she's nice. She's, she's a nice, she's a nice person. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's uh, our new movie, uh, White Bird in a Blizzard, is on demand and in theaters now. Please welcome the lovely Shailene Woodley, everybody. <laughs> to see you. You look great. Thank you. You do. You look like some sort of hunting 1920s <laughs> lesbian. Perfect. Yeah. That's actually exactly what I was going No, it for. looks great. It's an Avita Sackville West thing going on. It's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. It's also really comfortable. Well, that's important. It's so important. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It really is something to, to notice because so long you, you know, you wear dresses, you wear heels. So Tell me. Yeah, I know. Right? You know all about it. I did, you know. I did a year in the West End uh, doing uh, the Rocky Horror Show. I wore heels every night, danced in them. So you know exactly what it feels like. Oh, yeah. It's not that fun. It's actually not that much fun. It's, no. it's fun for a, a year and then not fun. <laughs> Maybe like an hour. Yeah, no, it's not. Thirty that much minutes. Fun. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't really like it. I thought I would like being in drag, but I didn't really. Mm. 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 Well, maybe I should try it again sometime, just to I, see. You should. What's going on with you? Is the movie any good? Uh, I actually, I love this movie. Oh, do you? I do. Oh, I that's really good. Do. I love it because it's so different. It's it's one of my favorites, actually. What, of all time? No, uh, it's one of my favorite movies of all time, and I'm in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is one of your favorite movies of all time? Well, The Goonies. The Goonies? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You don't think so? Uh, that's the one where they, they find the thing? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's all right. Maybe I guess. because I watched it at a time in my life when I was a child, and I thought to myself, wow, that could be me one day. What, a Goonie? Yeah, like I could, I could find a pirate ship. Have you ever found a pirate ship? No, but when I saw the movie, I thought that there would be the possibility of that. So I think it affected I have some very bad news for you. <laughs> you don't think I'm ever going to find a pirate ship? I don't know, actually. You might. It depends. Might find, it, might, it might not be a real pirate ship. I think you might find a pirate ship. I think the thing is, see, I'm interested in your career. You interest me. Very few people uh, interest me anymore. I'm so jaded. But you do. <laughs> because you are clearly uh, going to be an enormous movie star. And it's written all over you. And I... I I think that it's, what's interesting is that I don't think you do that forever. And that fascinates me. The last time you were here, I thought... Act forever? Yeah, I don't think you'll do it forever. But there's so many things to do. See, I, this is <laughs> crazy to me. I'm very excited for you. Thank you. I think that you, you might... You, you have a chance. Yeah, I mean, there's so... 
there's so many, there's so many things out there. Right. So what will you do if you, like, let's say you do acting another 15 years, right? And you really get into it. And then, by then, you're in your, what, mid-30s, uh, coming up on 40, and you think, I'm going to do something else. What are you going to do? Then? I have no idea. Maybe, you know, maybe... Well, I feel like I want to do everything now. See, that's my problem. I just want to do it oh, all at I, once. Yeah. No, you can't do everything. So, at I same know, time. you can't. No. Especially uh, 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 Guinness and LSD. <laughs> Bad combination. <laughs> do not try that one at home. <laughs> CBS cares. Uh, no, don't, don't ever do that. I'm happy to be back. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Well, no, I'm, I, I like you. Seriously, I do. I don't mean in a creepy, lecherous way. I mean, you genuinely. <laughs> You seem like an interesting individual mind, and uh, whilst I mean no detriment to a lot of other actresses that I talk to, that's quite unusual. I, I maybe I feel I feel really lucky because I I think honestly, and I think this is what it is. I think a lot of people get really successful sort of immediately in the right. industry, and I think that that's a lot to handle because when you're on a movie set, it's fun, and and that's why you start acting, and then all of the excess of it all, like doing press for a film and stuff, it's a lot of work, and there's right. a lot of different opinions and, and things thrown at you so i feel like if you don't have a strong foundation or strong base to begin with maybe it's hard to what do you think do you think know. there is a pressure on a young woman to conform to a stereotype perhaps you know like you must uh, weigh a certain thing your oh, hair definitely. must be a certain I don't, way you know? i don't think it's just in this industry i think it's in like in our society well you know? that's like, true yeah any yeah. any preteen out there is looking at magazines with people who don't like excuse me just a second the magazine is uh, an old-timey blog <laughs> <laughs> printed on yeah, paper yeah yeah it's, a, it's like it's like you know people used to say hey get me a magazine <laughs> would you all right, many right away, sir oh, oh what <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is Jerry. I was just waiting on the phone, sir. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Want to talk to Shaylee? Yeah, I'd love to, sir. Hey, how's it? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you, you, you're real pretty. You're real pretty. I'm wearing a, a lot of makeup right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I'm still here, sir. Yeah, I thought you were. So, let's continue with our therapy. Oh, we did therapy the last time. <gasps> You've got a pipe, too? <laughs> oh, no! Did you know? Well, um... Uh, I just think it went with the outfit. It does. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so... Talk to me. Well, I'm, are you the therapist or am I the therapist? We can take turns. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's begin. Okay. Uh, uh, you be the therapist first, and I'll tell you. All right. I am sexually attracted to mice. To mice? <laughs> when do you think that started? When I was a child. All right. Did your, did your mother or your father have any... Ha they were mice, both of them. Both of them were mice. <laughs> well, I was adopted. I was raised by mice. You were raised by mice, and so that's why you're sexually attracted to mice. Well, I've... Sort of. Do you feel not not my family? Them. I'm not attracted to my family. <laughs> Who are mice? I'm not weird. Just third cousins and beyond. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Now I'm the therapist. All right. Right. Look what? All right. Well, I'll be the therapist. Now you tell me. Oh, what's going on in my life? Well, something. All right. What are you afraid of? Um. Ooh, that's a good one. Afraid. I I get consistently more afraid of flying on airplanes. Ah, I may be able to help but you it, there. I used to not be afraid, and now I am. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Correct. So, so what's what's? What are you um, afraid of when you get on the plane? I'm afraid the plane's going to crash. Hmm. It's not. Okay. <laughs> and if it does, then then it's, it does. It's not going to crash. You statistically, you're safer in your uh, in an airplane than you are in your bed if you're in California. Really. <laughs> That's a great statistic. Well, because of the San Andreas Fault, you're more likely that you would be hurt in an earthquake than hurt in an airline accident. I don't, I think being hurt in an earthquake is different than dying in an airplane crash. Uh, that's <laughs> dead, Shaley. Well, that's true. Uh. It's true, it all works out and then we die. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm glad we had this talk, though. Yeah. Do you enjoy sports? I love sports. Do you really? I love sports. What kind of sports are you into? Swimming. Swimming? No! <laughs> People only watch swimming once every four years at the Olympics. That's it. Nobody says, uh, what are you doing? I'm going to stay and watch the swimming. Come on! 
Swimming? Like, like group sport, I suppose? No, no, I mean, do you do you actually go to swim meets and like, come on, Michael Phelps and other ocean. swimmers who I don't know of? Like ocean swimming. Oh, you oh you personally swimming? Yeah. Well, that's different. Oh, do I enjoy watching sports? Yes. No. No, all right. No. So you go swimming do in the ocean? Do you enjoy watching sports? No. Uh, oh, sometimes. Like what sport? Mm, I don't really. It's the food I'm after. And the so it's more it's more the social environment, right? Not even watch. that. No, Just I'm very food. cranky loner, and now I'm a vegetarian. So what do you eat then at sports games? Vegetables. <laughs> Are you a vegetarian? I fancy you've probably been skirting around it though. No, you know I was for a while, but I, my body, my body feel I feel like I need meat. Hmm. Um, but you know, actually, th you know about the blood type thing? Yeah, I've heard of it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I actually think that that's pretty cool. Like, pretty right on. It feels right for me. Yeah, yeah. So that's what you do? No, I just, I just <laughs> found out that my blood type generally are the meat eaters. I'm an O mm, positive. My blood type are generally Gryffindor. Ah. <laughs> Gryffindor. <laughs> Not Hufflepuff. No, no. Well, I'm sort of Hufflepuff, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I think you have a little Hufflepuff. A little Hufflepuff. There. I do. We have to take a commercial break. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Shailene Woodley, and we were just discussing her uh, embryonic fear of flying. It's starting to, it, it's coming in. It's coming in. And I'm telling you that you, uh, you know, you, you can, you can, I had it, and I, what I did was I got a pilot's license. That, are you lying? No, not at all. Because that's actually, I've said that. I'm like, I need to learn how to fly just so that I, maybe that will take away the fear. Yeah, it's, you know, what happened was you I. You trick yourself in thinking that you're in control, but you're really not. Uh, you are when you're flying the plane. Yeah, but if yeah. you're a passenger on a commercial flight and you're yeah, not no, you're not in control. You're not then control. you, but you but desire at least you feel control. Like you know, but yeah. Right, you desire control, so you start doing a little daft little OCD things in order. In the back to, of the plane. Right, so you try and you're like, I, if I wear these underpants, if I do this thing, if I walk this way, if I don't walk in these cracks, if I say this thing, if I do that, all these things trying to control something. Yeah. Which you can't control, you but can't if you're flying the plane, you're like, I'm going over here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, it was, actually, you know the actor Kurt Russell? Yeah. Who's a pilot, and he was on the show once, and I told him about my fear of flying, just like yours, and he said, you, you're not afraid of flying, you're a control freak. It's, yeah, total control freak. Right, well, I think you should learn to fly. I would love to learn to fly. Well, I can't teach you. Do you know how to sail? I can sail a little bit, yeah. I want to learn how to do that, too. That's much easier. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if it goes wrong, you're it's not that bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if you go, oh, something bad might happen in half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, that, so you fix it, you know. You could actually have a sandwich and then take care of the emergency. Mm -hmm. Or you could swim there for a while if something right. happened. Right, but yeah. well, what kind of sailing would you like to do? It's back to ships again. It's the Goonies for you. It's the ships thing. It's the ships, that's what it is. It's a you know, life that's at sea. It's actually really weird that you say ships. I always have re reoccurring dreams about ships. Maybe I need to examine this ship situation. You need to be my therapist. Well, okay, I'll get the pipe back <laughs> in. What about, uh, what about sailors? Uh, you like them? Do I like sailors? Yeah. I don't know that many sailors. I'm sure well, really? I love sailors if I... If I it if depends I... on the individual sailor. Some sailors are fabulous and others are just plain crotchety. <laughs> Why? They're just not that pleasant, Shailene. <laughs> and that's all I We should say talk about, about the film. We, should, uh, we just said okay. that you liked it. What happens in it? Uh, so it's, it's, one of, it's awesome. I think it's so neat because it's, a com it's not a coming-of-age film, but it does follow a young woman as she becomes sort of an adult. And That's often, a coming-of-age film. Then. It is, but there's a lot of other components involved. But what I love about it is it doesn't just focus on... So many, I guess, coming-of-age films focus on certain aspects of it, like falling in love for the first time or getting your heart broken for the first time. First and, time you do acid. Yeah, of course, yeah, all of those things. Um, and this, this movie, I feel like, touches on more than just those the things that we see often in young adult films um but it follows a young girl whose mother disappears and she has to figure out who she is while dealing with the chaos of not having a mother so it's a comedy then it's really funny yeah really, yeah, fun. the, really funny now does she disappears during a magician's trick like instead of well the the, mag the magician puts um that cloth thing in front of her. The head. magic invisibility the magic cloak? cloak. Yes. Uh -huh. Pulls it up she's still there puts it back pulls it up she's still there pulls it back and then she's gone the Then first she's time. gone. Yeah. Have you ever been to see uh, any magicians in Las Vegas? No. Go. 
I should go. Go. I love magicians. Go. I'm like one of those people in the crowd who's like, <gasps> how did they do that? Yeah, no, go. And I think, you know, it's a shame it's closed down. You would have loved the Liberace Museum as well in Las Vegas. Yeah. Go. Have yeah. you been to the Magic Castle out here? I have been to the Magic Castle. Is yeah, it pretty been... magic. Yeah, it's magical. It's like Hogwarts, but yeah. you know, but just off Hollywood Boulevard. Like bookshelves and stuff move. And yeah, the bookshelf. Right? There's a piano that plays I itself. Like there. I'm doing hands, but there's no hands. It's just the piano. Just reacting to the. Yeah, hands yeah, that and you there. can say things to it, and it'll play what you want. Whoa. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't know how that's done. They must have a guy inside that piano. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking a little person with a smaller piano. <laughs> and they're just connected. <laughs> it's like, like they're inside there and the piano's there and they say, what did you say? <laughs> you must remember this. Yeah, yeah, no, they do. Can you play the piano? No, I wish I could. Well, you better get on with it then. I know, well, the thing with piano is I feel like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people Parents put their kids in piano lessons when they're young, and the kids end up. I, that's what happened to me. I was in piano lessons for like two years, hated it when I was like five. I'm right. Like, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> well, that's terribly sad. <laughs> it's not sad. It just is. They should have taken you to the Liberace Museum before it closed <laughs> down. Then you would have realized all the possibilities of a <laughs> life of piano playing could bring. <laughs> Holy crackers! It was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. I do. I do. Um, lovingly envy pianists though because they the way that their communication with the I envy oh. all artists who lose themselves in the art don't you like anyone who completely uh, loses themselves completely yes the complete lack of ego that a true artist exhibits whilst doing the art let you take oh, yeah, yeah. for a movie I thought you meant in general always like they just lose no themselves not all art. oh they lose themselves <laughs> like where am people. I I was <laughs> I was just playing the piano and now I'm inside a piano no I mean who, who the the loss of any ego yeah. in someone who's who's functioning within their chosen art. Mm -hmm. Like if you see a painter work, or even a great actor at work, you see some, like look at uh, Meryl Streep, arguably the greatest uh, female actor of her generation, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe of, of our time. Someone who seems to have, when the cameras are turning, a, a lack of vanity. Yeah. Something that you wouldn't think uh, an actor, no disrespect, would have. Mm -hmm. A lack of vanity, it's just like, I don't see her getting Botoxed and, and pulled and teased and, and she's just like... Yeah, she's a woman, like she... Right. Yeah. Right, she, she passes she through her life. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I would like for you. And I, I get... I would like that for me. Yeah, I see, I think you've got all that. There's something, you have all of that stuff. But you must be careful because this town is so full of weasels and, and awful satanic manipulators. I don't live you, here. You know. <laughs> hmm? so that's why I don't live here. Oh, where'd you live? Oh, don't say, don't say the street. Huh? Don't say the street. People are listening. <laughs> um, I, I don't really live anywhere. N give give a, a, a general geographic area. Uh, Western United States? The United States. Do I, you walk the earth from town to town <laughs> solving crimes? I just run everywhere. You run? Do you run? I do like running. Yeah, yeah I run too. Do you run? Mm -hmm. You sort of just get in the phone and you're like, all right. I used to run even when I was drunk. Even when you were drunk, you would even run? Even when I was drinking, I, was, I, I used to run. I, like, in fact, I used to run a lot. It was probably colorful. You were probably Yeah, I was just like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Um, <laughs> you weren't running for pleasure back then, though. I don't even think I run for pleasure now. I think it's more a search for grace. You run to search for grace? I think I run for the pain. The physical pain? Yeah, sure. The, the emotional pain. Yeah, the the, the uh, yeah the feeling of 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 uh, of exhaustion. Mm. You know what I mean? You do feel accomplished when you. Do yeah, that. yeah, that feeling of oh, I'm completely exhausted. Yeah. So now I can't panic. What do you do when you feel completely exhausted? Well, when I feel completely exhausted, I lie down. What do you do? I probably lie down, but like after a run, is that what you do? You run and then you feel. I run. I lie down. down. I get up. You're never going to keep me down. I get up. <laughs> well, Celine, we're out of time. All right, man. All right, man. So let's smoke our pipes as they play the music of Enya. Enya, again.
We need you to go and find smog, Baggins. a plane just in case I'm ever in a plane and something goes wrong I could be like yo buddy hit this button hit that button like we got this you know like it's always good when I wouldn't a get in a plane unless the guy in the plane knew what buttons to press but don't you feel like sometimes like you, you just want to you know like it's like backseat driver kind of thing like, yeah, oh, yeah. like, oh you know I can help you out no I tell you the only reason I learned to fly is because I was frightened of it uh -huh. and then I thought well uh, if I learn to fly maybe I won't be frightened of it and no I'm not frightened of it as long as I'm flying the plane but if somebody else is, is someone else is flying it, I'm like, hey, buddy, press that button, press that button. They're it's like, I got serious, it, I got it's it. It's a serious control problem. I have. I yeah. could, do you have a control issue? I mean, I maybe. Let's do some therapy. All right. All right. Uh, okay. You know, my parents are therapists, so. Your parents are therapists? They are. Do you know psych psychotherapists? Uh, my dad was a school principal. Now he's a family therapist. Right. And my mom's a middle school counselor. Wow, that's weird because therapists usually, to my mind, always have the craziest kids. The craziest kids? Yeah, yeah. I know, well, I mean, we just met, so. Yeah, I but you got that crazy. kind of look in your eye. You got a kind of crazy, <laughs> and you got that kind of thing. Like, yeah, and then you got your rattlesnake shoes. I know crazy when I see it. You think I never met a crazy woman before? You, you are wrong, pinned, sister man. girl. <laughs> Look and how much fun you're ha you have. I have fun here. So amazing. Gotta have fun when you're doing your job. Gotta have fun. Yeah, man. do you have fun when you're doing your so job? So much fun. Especially, like, this movie you've just done is very sad. It's very sad. Very sad but It's movie. also very hopeful. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's got like sad themes. It does have sad themes. Sad themes. There's sad themes in real life. Yeah, no. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that when you do a movie like that, though, whenever I've done anything like that's very serious, there's a lot of giggling when you're making it. I don't know why. Maybe to release tension. Yeah, maybe that, that we yeah. did giggle a lot. Why do you do that with your nose? Do you do that a lot? No, I don't. I do do that a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think it's a kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. I should look it up. You ask I, your I, parents. I bet you there's a weird. Uh, <laughs> They'll know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a weird body language thing, though. It's like. It's like a like a like a like a. It's like look. My first guy, I'm very excited about my guest tonight, Jeff. Very, oh, very excited amazing. indeed. This is wonderful, yes. Very talented young actress. Her movie, The Fault in Our Stars, is in theaters June, June the 6th. June, June the 6th. <laughs> the very exciting Shailene Woodley, everybody. <laughs> You look great. Wow, look at those shoes. They're pretty intense, right? Right. Is that some kind of fluorescent rattlesnake thing? I don't know. I mean, it, it looks like it. It's like a painted... I don't know. It's, like, it's very, very good. Yeah. Well done. You look great. And I like the way you sit in a chair like that to get the like job done. Like a proper done. lady, you That's know. Right. You know Black what I'm talking about. <laughs> where are you from originally? I'm from here. What, where, where part? In California? From L Right outside of L.A. I grew up Thurlock? In uh, <laughs> How'd you know? No, you can't be. <laughs> Simi Valley. Simi Valley? Yeah. Do you ever yeah. hear a lot of little airplanes flying around? No. Cause that's Have the, you been there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Simi Valley practice area is where everyone learns to fly in California. Is that right? Like when you Do learn you... to a little, fly a little airplane, you go to the Simi Valley practice area. No way. Yeah, yeah. And everybody flies around the little planes and like, mm, it's great. So that's why, so that's why there's so many plane crashes around where I grew up. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> where though? No. Well, okay, so uh, have you ever flown a plane? Uh-uh, but I would like to. Yeah, I think you'd be good at it. I think you'd it'd be fun. Yeah, because you go like that. You've got a kind of determined look about you. I kind of want to learn how to Look part. at me. I am the one you <laughs> should be. Pay attention to me. Look yeah. right here. At look the right nose. here. Don't look here or around here. Right here. I don't know. It's good, though. It's kind of, you got your nails done, so it's like a little... I painted them maybe for like the first time ever the other day, and uh, they are already chipped. 
No, they look good. You have very elegant hands. Do you play the Thank piano? You. I don't, but I wish I did. Well, you can still I've, learn. What you? You're very young. You I can am learn young. To play. Yeah. I can totally learn, but there's yeah. so much patience involved with learning the how to learn how to play the piano. Are you not a patient person? I'm a very patient person, but I feel like it takes a lot of time to time and patience, you know. And I don't have. You don't have a lot of time. Much time, or I, I'm patient, but not. But not when I have limited time. I'm like, okay, I have two hours. What do I want to do? Right. I don't want to sit still for two hours. So know? what do you want to do if you got two hours? Like if I said, okay, you get two hours break right now, what are you going to do? I'm going to drive to the beach. You're going to go drive to the beach? Yeah. And then what, sit down on the beach and do nothing for not two hours? I jump in the ocean. You're going to go in the ocean? Yeah. Do you ever go diving? Uh, no, I never, I mean, I've snorkeled, but I've, I have never done the scuba Snorkeling thing. Snorkeling to scuba diving is like, you know, it's like a Pinto to a Lamborghini. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's like different thing. You know, it scares me, the like lung compression thing and the, I mean, I want to do it. It's like you flying, you know, I feel like conquer the fear, but I just have not. I don't know if fears can be conquered. I think that's, uh, that's for people that don't that's understand the nature great, of fear. That's like, that's a great, great, I completely agree with you. I think you, there's no way to become fearless, right? But you no, got to face no. your fears. I think facing them, uh, only if it has some kind of therapeutic effect. I mean, yeah. like f sometimes just facing your fears just for the sake of doing it is just absurd. It's just making yourself uncomfortable. For example, uh, if you have a fear of of uh, shellfish yeah. and avoid them like a fear of like a lobster yeah if you're if, if you're frightened of lobsters just don't go near them okay you know but if you're frightened of something like flying which is something you're gonna have to do then you're gonna have to figure out a system but you can to work. avoid the lobster you can avoid lobster but pretty you easy can't avoid the plane as now no because there's so many things in the world to do god bless you young lady right? good for you yeah there's so many things yeah i want to learn how to make a great cup of espresso right there's always that to look forward There's to. There's always that to look forward <laughs> to. Good. I like. We have to take a commercial break. All right. Yeah. But violence when I was a kid. Huh? Kids were, yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Shelly and Woodley. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Do that. They know who you are, and if they then if they don't, that's their problem. Nah. Yeah. I think so. Would you ever smoke a pipe? Uh, yeah, actually, I have only really ever smoked tobacco out of a pipe. I weird. know that sounds you, weird. Do you solve crimes as well? No. It's this weird thing. So I study herbalism. Which Do you? Is, yeah, which is like the study of plants for whatever medicinal purposes. And part of that, I started studying indigenous cultures, Native American cultures, and right. Native Americans used to smoke tobacco as like a healing, you know, like for healing purposes. Um, it's probably and, not a good idea, really. No, pro I mean, you know, they're everything in moderation, and I feel like... Anyways, but I have some friends who, who grow tobacco, and so they smoke it out of a, a really? good old pipe. Yeah. You are you. so cool. <laughs> it just looks cooler, too. It, well, I think it looks like, it, you know, it, it looks like I'm smarter. It's like wearing kind of horn rim glasses. Mm. You know, you're like, oh, that guy's smart. He ain't smart. He's just wearing glasses. Well, you're pretty yeah. smart. I'd say you're I'm smart. I'm pretty smart. Yeah, you're yeah. smart. Not that smart, no. And I'm nowhere near as cool as you. You're very cool. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're cool. I can tell. So you do this, and you do this. Man, you're like really good at this body language. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. I observe. You are. You're a yeah, professional yeah. observer. What's this? Easily. I get it. Doesn't seem that way. I get it. What frightens you? What are you frightened of? Submarines, you're pretty... I think, would be submarines terrifying. frighten you. I mean, can you imagine being stuck in a metal box that uh, it's like le <laughs> leagues How under long the you sea? want? Ten years in a metal box? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can you imagine. You know exactly it. what I'm talking about. I know about. exactly what you mean. You can empathize with yeah. my fear. <laughs> Absolutely. That is confined spaces? No, not confined spaces, but I think I like Earth. You know, being in space doesn't seem interesting to me, and being what? way under the water, even though that, I guess, technically is Earth. See, it's just a completely different world. I don't want to be down there. I, don't I think you have a search for equilibrium going on here. I think you feel <laughs> there's a certain amount of uncertainty, and I think that's why you point at your nose. You're like, All right. I'm right here. So uh, what do I do? What do I do? Well, I think, I, I think you're doing fine. Okay. I don't think you need to do anything. I think that sometimes therapy is just a little bit of information. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to do anything. Does it have to do something? No. Yeah. No. I think it's good observation. Yeah, I think it's nice to know who you are. It's probably... Oh, it's great to know who yeah, you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. feel like you know who you are? Yeah, I think so. Now, I didn't for a long time, though. I was very lost. You know, drugs and alcohol and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You avoiding all that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe 
careful with it. You gotta be careful with it, though. I mean, people say they experiment with it. No, you're not a scientist. No, uh, no, no, no. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, you just gotta be watching. Especially, you're very successful, very young. You know, I've I've seen that before. So you gotta be careful. You know, point at your nose. <laughs> Right here. Be careful. Do you, do you think that that's, that's a, a, a handicap? Like youth and success, does it, does it concern you or do you feel confident about it? No, man. I mean, I feel like you... Uh, does it concern me being successful? Does it unnerve you, perhaps? Do you worry about fear, is success going away? Oh, God.